HEVL, these are high energy visible lights, also known as blue lights. HEVL is emitted from computers, TVs, and phones, right? HEVL penetrates deep into the skin and connects the sun, you, UV radiation, three types. Okay, you probably already know that you need to put on sunscreen when you're out at the beach or during the summer, but what about when you're indoors, you're driving your car, you're going to work, you're in the office, or you're indoors? I still wear sunscreen. I wear it even during the winter months as well. Hello ladies, welcome to Valento Skincare. If you want bright skin, hard to skin, glowing skin, you're in the right channel. So hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell, and let's get right into it. Okay, I have so much energy today. I don't know what it is, but so much energy. Are you guys ready for all of this great information I'm about to share with you? I've been working from home since this whole pandemic and quarantine thing kind of started, and I'm getting this question a lot from colleagues, friends, family members. Do I need to wear sunscreen when I'm indoors? And if I actually got paid every time I was asked that question, Girl, I'll be taking all of y'all on vacations, okay? Let me tell you something. The answer is, for the purpose of this video and people asking me the question, do I need to wear sunscreen when I'm in the house? I'm gonna focus I'm gonna focus on UVAs. Right? Sunscreen is like the best thing you can do for your skin. I'm gonna tell you why right now. Let me break it down for you, okay? Don't leave yet. So when you're indoors, you're driving in the car, you're running errands, you're going to the shop, you're doing something really quick, you, a lot of people don't think about it, but guess what? You're surrounded by natural light, right, left, center, everywhere, there's natural light right around you. Everything known as UV radiation. Now, UV radiation in small doses actually isn't that bad. It actually provides you with vitamin D, which is really essential for your body. The main problem occurs when frequent UV rays are in contact with our skin, which can leave our skin in really bad state. So these effects show up when our skin isn't protected. Let me talk about UV rays and break it down for you, okay? <laughs> UV rays are broken down to three different brands, UVA, UVB, and UVC. Each UV wavelength varies in size and how they affect your skin, okay? UVC is the shortest and isn't long enough to actually reach our skin. UVB rays comes in contact with the outer layer surface of our skin. Now, UVA radiation penetrates deeper and into the inner layers of our skin. UVA is the one you really want to protect. You know why? Sun's UVA, I like to call them aging rays, <laughs> are the ones that can penetrate through the clouds, through our windows. UVA is responsible for hyperpigmentation, discoloration, premature signs of aging, fine lines, and that's the thing that we don't want. <laughs> okay, let's break it down even further. Let's talk about the spectrum of light. Okay. HEVL, these are high energy visible lights, also known as blue light. HEVL is emitted from computers, TVs, and phones, right? HEVL penetrates deep into the skin and can actually result in damages such as hyperpigmentation and melasma. Am I saying that right? Hyperpigmentation and melasma. <laughs> now guys, another light covered by the spectrum is known as IRA, infrared radiations. These are the light that you can feel the warmth from, but you can't see. I know. IRA comes from the sun and other devices that we encounter daily. Guess what the device is? Hair dryers, okay? IRAs can cause free radical damage, which can lead to skin dehydration and tissue damage, okay? When people think about sunscreen, you're thinking about, I wanna protect my skin from sunburn. What you're thinking about there is UVB rays, right? UVB rays are the ones that everybody thinks about when they buy a sunscreen and they're looking for SPF, right? UVB rays are associated with sunburn and the beach. <laughs> and in addition, UVB rays can actually cause skin cancer. Onto UVAs, the ones that I call aging rays. These are the ones that you literally, guys, you cannot hide. You're like the X that you can't hide from. The stalker rays, okay? They literally penetrate through clouds, through your window. So if you think you're in the car, you're going to the shop, that's five minute drive, and you don't have sunscreen, it's gonna be okay. UVA, UVA is coming through that window and through your, your car window. You're coming through, you're sitting in the kitchen table, you're working away, UVA rays are coming straight in, Asian rays, okay? So that's why you have to wear sunscreen. <laughs> UVAs also make up 95% of the rays that actually reach us down here on Earth. They sink so deep into the skin, they can lead to wrinkles and dark spots, and they can also cause skin cancer. Okay, now that we covered different examples of light, let's get down to the, to the really important bit, UVA. The reason I call UVA rays aging rays is because 90% of the signs of aging, such as fine lines, wrinkles, and dark spots, come from UVA rays, right? That's my number one advice for any skincare routine, is that you have to incorporate sunscreen into your routine, and you have to wear sunscreen every single day of the year. 365 days, 366 if it's a leap year. So Monday to Sunday, Sunday to Monday, every day, all day, literally. And you have to reapply every two to three hours to really give yourself really that good protection that you need from the sun, even in the winter months and the summer months as well. Okay. Oh, now, how can we fix this? Your antidote is a broad spectrum sunscreen. When I mean broad spectrum, I mean a sunscreen that's SPF 50. And also, so broad spectrum means that a sunscreen protects you from both UVAs and UVBs, okay? Which is what you really need, all right? <laughs> 
So when you're so when you're shopping for sunscreen, look for a sunscreen that's at least SPF 50. I don't. I told you guys before. I don't really play with anything below 50. I just want to get. I want to get the most protection I can get from the sun. Cause baby, this girl, <laughs> you ain't about to catch me slipping. You ain't about to catch this face slipping. You get. You feel me? And I don't want you guys to be slipping either. Okay. I want you guys to be protected from UVA, UV rays. Look for a broad spectrum sunscreen. That is your antidote. That is how we can fix this. We can protect you from future sun damage. Right. If you get a sunscreen that isn't labeled broad spectrum, that means that it's only protecting you from UVB rays and not UVA. But if you get one that has broad spectrum on it, that means it's protecting you from both UVA and UVB rays as well. Okay? Guys, I have a friend who told me that, oh, it's grand. I wear makeup in the summer and uh, my foundation has SPF 15. I just, I don't know what I wanted to do to her that day. I just looked at her. I stirred at her. I tried to stir at her soul. And I was like, girl, what? What? No, no. And... I also, I know people who leave the house with your moisturizer that contains SPF 30 or SPF 15. First of all, no, no, mm -mm, no, you top that up with a sunscreen, girl, sister, top it up with a sunscreen. No, so if your moisturizer has SPF 15, for example, and you go with an SPF 30, don't do that, SPF 50, so you put your moisturizer on, has SPF 15, and then your sunscreen has SPF 50, that is not equal 65, no, no, doesn't add up, it's not like that, okay? Okay, you're protected by the sunscreen. Boom, SPF 50. Okay, let's recap, okay? The sun, U, UV radiation, three types, UVC, UVB, UVA. UVC okay. wavelengths are the shortest of the length. UVC rays don't pass through atmospheric ozone. UVB, UVB wavelengths travel enough to reach the surface layer of the skin. UVB responsible for redness, sunburn, and skin cancer, okay? Aging rays, now aging rays, UVA, the longest wavelength of them all, right, can penetrate deeper into the layer of the skin, causes wrinkles, fine lines, discoloration, hyperpigmentation, and also UVA is present all year round, can penetrate through the clouds, can penetrate through the windows. UVAs can also affect DNA, increasing the risk of skin cancer as well. Guys, my advice is always look for a broad spectrum sunscreen that protects you from both UVA and UVBs as well, okay? Yes, 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 guys, you need to wear sunscreen even if you're indoors working, you're in the garden, you're only going to your neighbor's house. I want you to wear sunscreen. I want it to become your new best friend every single day, 365 days of the year. And also reapply your sunscreen every two to three hours during the day to give you the maximum protection from the sun and from sun damage as much as possible. Thanks guys. And if you guys want me to do a video on my sunscreens and the ones that I use, I'm happy to do that for you guys. Just leave your comments down below and I'll show my sunscreens and I'll show you guys how to apply sunscreen and what to look for in the sunscreen. And if you guys want more sunscreen episodes, leave your comments down below. Like in this whole sunscreen conversation, leave your comments down below. Any questions you have, I'm happy to answer them in my next video. Of course, thanks guys. Hope you guys are staying protected. I hope you're enjoying the summer from your kitchen and your balcony. And hopefully we'll get to go out soon. And I hope you guys are staying safe. Please stay indoors, girl. Even if they let you out, let the first group of people get the first fresh air first. Let them test it out and see how it feels for you guys go out, okay? I love you guys, okay? Thanks, lovelies. <laughs>